Welcome to the channel everyone, firstly I need to thank you all for the amazing support on the recoil control guide and with it almost crossing 1000 views and I can't wait to see how much further it will go. I'm currently working on the bullet drop video but it's kinda difficult and sorry for the delay. But until then, I'm here to present you with the inventory management guide. Here I will go over the inventory items you should carry in the early game, mid game and late game and why I'm taking those decisions so you can understand my thought process of why I prefer like why these items are really good in the early, mid and late game. So without further ado, let's get into the early game items. For early game, you should grab as much loot off the floor as possible and you can't really afford to be picky because, uh, because enemies are probably close by. Initially, you should not worry about inventory as much and loot as much as you can until you are full and when you are full, throw away unnecessary items on the fly as I do in the background clip. As for inventory, you should always aim for something like this. And uh, the most important items being one stack of shield cells, one stack of syringes, and grenades are the most essential part in the early game because with grenades, you're gonna be able to engage enemies very easily. And you should always carry at least two grenades, either being frag nades or arc stars. Termites are also nice for denying areas when you're wanting to kill someone because that will discourage people from actually pushing in when you are trying to get control of an area, get a finisher, or revive your teammates. When it comes to the mid game, your options open up a lot more as you probably have a blue or even a purple backpack if you are lucky. In the mid game, do not make the mistake of carrying more than 240 ammo for each of your guns when it comes to heavy and light. For shotguns, one stack of 80 will, let, will last you through the entire game. Stacking up on more ammo is just a waste as you realistically not ever going to burn through all of that ammo and not be able to loot more ammo from the people you kill. Thus, having more nades and healing items will enable you more in comparison. Also, when it comes to healing items, you will start finding more shield batteries and medkits as time goes on. Recommended being carrying one stack of medkits, one stack of shield batteries, and as before, one stack of shield cells and one stack of syringes, and the rest being nades and one phoenix kit. Stacking up on phoenix kit is not recommended because they do not stack and you're wasting precious grenade slots for the mid game, so one phoenix kit will serve you well for the beginning as you will mostly have blue shields and it's not really beneficial to use a phoenix kit when blue shields are pain. It's, it's better to use either shield cells or a shield battery or just use a med kit and a shield battery. Finally, coming to the late game, you'll most likely have a purple backpack at this stage. And at this stage of the game, nothing really changes from your med game inventory. You will mainly try to maintain your med counts as usual, but you will try and carry 6 nades instead of the usual 4. As for ammo count, it will remain the same as usual, do not waste your inventory with having more ammo. As for meds, as the game progresses further, you will replace the syringes with more med kits and shield cells with shield batteries. There is an argument that can be made, you can drop one stack of nades for either a stack of syringes or shield cells, but my preference is to carry more nades as I have more of an aggressive playstyle, plus having more nades enable me more to zone out areas so I can force enemies out into the open for my teammates or so that I can run away to get a better position or a better angle to fight them. Also, something I did not cover in the mid-game aspect, remember to carry attachments if attachments or ammo types if your teammates ask you to. It will help benefit your teammates and you as you are enabling them more, giving you a higher chance of winning. Also, another thing you have to remember is that do not use weapon scope. Weapon scopes currently are very broken as you cannot change the sensitivity of each and every scope. So I would always recommend to use only the one-time scope or don't use scopes at all because you're, you're just going to hurt yourself more with the, uh, when you're trying to aim at someone. So as you can see in a lot of the clips, I used to use scopes before but after I found out about the fact that scopes are just hurting my aim even more and causing more problems when trying to control recoil, I just stopped using scopes entirely. But other than that, that covers the late game aspects. And with that said, the video comes to an end. Thank you all for the amazing support and I hope you enjoyed this video as I put a little bit more effort into it. Please do leave a like and subscribe to this channel. 
if you are new and I will see you in the next one. And now actually if you're wondering why is it not aggressive talking? Well, um, he's having family issues because, uh, you know, guests and whatever. So I'm just reading this for him and I, for some reason I can't pronounce leave normally. Now, whatever.